1040 WHO. From the High V Studios, this is News Radio 1040 WHO and on the free iHeartRadio app. Twelve twelve on the big show clock. Bob Quinn of the big show. Sunshine moving across a lot of farm country today, friends. Cold temperatures out there, though. And uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to warm things up. So there's some warm weather on the horizon being brought to you by Hertz Real Estate Services. Hertz Real Estate Services, farmland auction brokerage and evaluations. Big thank you to Hertz Real Estate Services bringing you this segment of the big show we have a very special guest andy on the telephone line with us right now matt karstens is president and ceo of landis cooperatives april 1st is landis's five year anniversary how about that also matt recently marked his first year as leading landis so Matt, welcome back to the big show. Five years strong with uh, Landis Co-op. I suppose you're uh, cutting the cake uh, there today, right? Well, I don't know. We've got a lot of cake to cut today. We got to get ready for a big spring season, but but uh, we're absolutely uh, ecstatic about the the five year anniversary and, and bringing the uh, the former FC and Land uh, West Central Cooperatives together. It marks a great milestone in uh, in our journey, and you know the the future is is even brighter as we look at, at now getting all the trials and tribulations of that merger of that size behind us, and, and really bringing the size and scale value to our farmers. That's that's what this journey is about, and it's what these employees are excited to do. So we're ready, and and we want that warm weather you're talking about. We got ammonia going on, and, and more work coming too. Yeah, no kidding. Well, br- brag up the, uh, uh, the the cooperative there a little bit. Talk about the reach and uh, uh, bra- brag it up to us a little bit. Yeah, well, you would, when we put together today, we've got now uh, over 7,000 farmers uh, that own this company across Iowa and other parts of, of the uh, the U.S. and even globe as they, they move to other parts. Uh, we've got around 60 locations, around uh, 600 employees. And, um, you know, the, the journey has just been a, a really special one. You know, for me, I'm, I'm probably proudest of, of our employees for this first five years of working hard through the, the merger and, and, and work that you got to do to get it to this point to where we can serve our farmer owners in a way that puts them in the center of every decision and really gets back to, to some degree, Bob and Andy, the roots of what a co-op is set to do, right? It's really to do for the farmer things that they can't do on their own on a collective level and and this employee base is committed to that and, and striving every day to work with our board of directors and and put that together so we've got uh, a lot of great things we achieved in this this milestone of getting here and and now it's time to demonstrate the size and scale of of all the things that we've got like our, our rail infrastructure on the grain side the agronomy assets we've got um, and again, just the employee base that wakes up every day thinking about these farmers and, and how they can serve them best. And it's it's an exciting time to be not only in agriculture, but here at Landis. Absolutely, Matt. Always uh, always an exciting day to be involved in agriculture. Every day is. It's Andy. Congratulations on the, on the big anniversary. And, you know, uh, as I sit here and, and think back to a year ago and the conversations that we were having then, that, um, that, that mission to do for the farmer what they can't do on their own collectively, uh, th- that really showed and was on display uh, through all of the uncertainty about getting supplies and how we were going to plant a crop in the middle of the pandemic. You folks were, were there at every turn to make sure that all the needs were met. And, uh, and so we really appreciate that, Matt. Well, thanks, Andy. And I, I remember, you know, when we had my, uh, my first uh, week or I think it was actually the second day on the job, I spoke with all of you and, you know, then COVID hit the next day or two later. And then we got thrusted into spring season, but it, but it does, Andy, show the value of what a co-op is here to do and the power that it brings. And in, in this day and age, you know, we look at all the different kinds of structures of companies and that, and, you know, the one that has stood the test of time, without a doubt, is cooperative, a farmer-owned cooperative uh, more than any that, that continues to show up and, and weather the storm to where, although our farmers felt it in some of the ways they had to act and work within their rural communities, but relative to getting the, the crop planted, getting it uh, tendered to, and, 
and the harvest happened, you know, we really didn't miss a beat. And it shows the strength of the power of a cooperative and, and why five years ago we put Landis together. And, and uh, again, we just couldn't be prouder of, of what it means to be an ag and what it means to be a farmer-owned cooperative. That, that's so important to our state of Iowa and, and these local communities we operate in as well. And we're, we're thankful to have the, the first five behind us and even more excited for the future. Well, Matt, I'll tell you, uh, we're going to let you go. But, again, we want to be the first one to congratulate you and uh, the, the whole uh, Landis Cooperative uh, folks there on their uh, achievements and celebrating uh, agriculture. And I would imagine that we're going to be seeing you folks out in the field, hopefully real quick, uh, if we can get this warm-up going. So thanks for joining us today. Hey, thank you. We look forward to celebrating this uh, this milestone once we get out of spring season with our farmers and, and employees as well. And we'll see if we can get you out to some of the events as well, Bob and Andy. So thank you. Well, I'll tell Love you, any time you throw a lunch, uh, Andy and Bob <laughs> probably. <clears throat> hey, I'm, I'm just, you know, lots of folks wa- want to know how to get on the big show. And <laughs> that's that's how you do it. You th- you throw a little luncheon event, and uh, Andy and Bob will be there. Now, a, a big thank you to Matt Carson, president and CEO. Uh, and, you know, one of the things we didn't even get to talk too much about was the Beef Feed Center. They opened there in Jefferson. Uh, Andy, that's a big deal. Uh, and, oh, it uh, absolutely lots, lots is. Lots of reach. Uh, I mean, that that is just a, a wonderful uh, operation. So hats off to uh, those folks. As I say, five year, fifth year anniversary. Can you believe that for uh, Landis uh, Cooperative? Uh, they uh, put the uh, two uh, entities together: Farmers uh, Cooperative and West Central, merged to form Landis well, and uh, Iowa's largest agriculture cooperative. There, you heard about it uh, on the big show. Well, uh, coming course, up, Matt we're going to watch uh, uh, these. I was just going to say, Matt's yeah. far too humble. But can you can you imagine? Third day on the job, fourth day on the job, uh, newly yeah. minted as being yeah. in charge of something like that. Hey, welcome to a worldwide pandemic. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Brother. Yeah. For, first off, you have to talk to these two guys on the radio, and then we're going to close the entire <laughs> state down on you. Oh, man. Markets ahead here on the big show.